I hated to drag you out of bed at this time of night. Will you let me go while there's still time? You'll soon see why I did. Doc, will you tell these fools I'm not crazy? Make them listen to me before it's too late! I'll listen to you. People are strange, and it's when they seem perfectly normal that you know things are getting really weird. That's what the hero discovers in Invasion of the Body Snatchers, a 1956 B-movie horror science fiction classic directed by Don Siegel. Now, even if you've never seen this movie, you may be aware of the legend of the pod people, alien beings intent on replacing the entire human race with perfect soulless replicas. Nice having Becky back again, eh, boy? These replicas, which grow in giant seed pods, look and behave exactly like we do, which is what makes them so terrifying. Now, Invasion of the Body Snatchers is frequently interpreted as a Cold War allegory, with the pod people representing either the threat of communism or the deadening conformity of Eisenhower-era American society. Now, you can certainly interpret the movie this way, but I don't think it would have lasted so long or been remade so many times if it didn't also tap into something much deeper. I don't want a world without love or grief or beauty. I'd rather die. The pod people's world has been wiped clean of the messiness of human psychology. There's no conflict, no ambition, no love, and therefore no sexual desire. The two main characters, Dr. Miles Bunnell and Becky Driscoll, are old flames who reunite and clearly want nothing more than to jump into bed with each other. And it sometimes seems as if the whole alien conspiracy is designed to prevent exactly that from happening. Because instead of doing what they so obviously want to do, Miles and Becky have to run all over the little town of Santa Mira, California, trying to raise the alarm and get help. But virtually every figure of authority in the town, policemen, parents, doctors, turn out to be part of the pod people plot. This is the film's primal terror. Those who are supposed to be protecting us are imposters. Suddenly, while you're asleep, they'll absorb your minds, your memories, and you're reborn into an untroubled world. Where everyone's the same? Exactly. Keep in mind, though, that this is a movie from the 1950s, which means that, in the end, our trust in authority must be reaffirmed. So the studio bosses, in this case, imposed a more hopeful ending on Invasion of the Body Snatchers than what Siegel had originally intended. Get on your radio and sound at all points along. In the end, everything's going to be fine. There's nothing to worry about. That's what this movie is telling us. And that's exactly what the pod people want us to think. Yes, it's an emergency. 